What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z of Arc for you guys today and today we're taking a look at that little cutie, the Jaboa. Now the Jaboa is found on Valgiro, Scorched Earth, the Crystal Isles and Ragnarok. So these guys get main, mainly used on Scorched Earth because that's where all the crazy weather events will happen. They obviously can be used on Ragnarok as well because there are weather events that occur on Ragnarok as well. As for Valgira, I don't think there are actually too many. But uh, nonetheless, these guys are still probably one of the cutest shoulder pets that you can get. In order to tame these guys up, all you need to do, punch them a couple of times and they will pass out. They will always spawn in at level one. You can use Trank Arrows, a Boomerang, a Club if you want to, however your fists will do the job just fine. Once you've got it knocked out, you can feed it Plant Species Y Seeds, however I think that's a waste. Your next best bet is to feed it Mijo Berries. Mijo Berries, it'll generally tame up in a couple of bites. So you don't need to worry too much about it taking too long because they're only level 1 and it'll tame up pretty quickly. Now, once you've got these guys tamed up, you can obviously keep them on your shoulder. They will act like a backpack enabling you to carry half of their weight. So for example, if you've got 20 weight in here um, and you carry it on your shoulder, let's just whack all these berries in for example. So say we've got all that in the Jaboa, this will only weigh half on us. So if we pick this guy up, instead of weighing the full amount, it'll only weigh half. So you can see here we're currently at about just over halfway. If we were to take, throw him off and take all this stuff back, we would be a lot higher. So he reduces the weight of items in his inventory for you to carry on him. And he's just a heckin' adorable little dude to carry around. Now, this guy will also make sounds depending on the incoming weather pattern. So these sounds are as follow. I'll play the sounds for you guys and we'll actually explain what they are. So first off is the lightning storm. This is the sound it will make when it hears the, when the lightning storm is coming. Um, and its ears will be lowered and it'll wag its tail. <laughs> So if you hear that sound, that means the Jaboa is sensing a lightning storm. Now this is for a sandstorm um, and pretty much it'll bark at the sky while making this sound. And that means there's a sandstorm coming. Uh, next up we have the heat wave. Now the heat wave will try and dig, uh, it'll cause the Jaboa to dig and pour at the ground if there's a heat wave coming and this is what it sounds like. And you can hear there, there was even the little digging sound at the end. Uh, and this is the sound it will make when it is going to rain. And the Jabal will make a sniffing sound and it will stare at the sky as well. And here is what it sounds like. <laughs> so they're the sounds that the Jabal will make when there's uh, the particular storm coming in. But pretty much you'll only be taming these guys for their cute factor. Because look how freaking adorable these guys are. So cute. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.